Jay Lawson is actually a company with a diverse and modernized bulk carriers and gas carriers. They work a lot with the, the shipping community based on humanitarian uh, schooling and plus uh, in, within the ecosystem. They're well known. My role within the company, I'm the technical project manager where I look into innovative projects uh, from a global scale and I help uh, with business processes to both on the technical side and on the business side. Well, the challenges I, I, I see today is that a lot of uh, these new technologies that are coming in, uh, they're pretty expensive. And from a ship owner's point of view, we have to invest in these technologies, but nobody's sharing the risk with us if they don't work, <laughs> right? So what I would like to see basically is more of a, a symbiosis with the vendors, suppliers, service uh, providers, with the ship owner. This is, this is the way I think uh, we should, you know, amend these challenges that we have. One aspect of it is that we, we talk a lot about environmental issues. Uh, this is one aspect we actually look into. But then you have to look at also the, uh, the, the, the payback time of the, that particular piece of equipment because every time you invest in a piece of equipment there's always an OPEX tag connected to it and today as the market as it is it's very lean you know lean margins we're working with so we have to actually weigh okay is it worth investing or is it uh, nice to have piece of equipment I think that the regulatory bodies are not and the vendors and the ship owners, they, they, they need to sit down and work together. Uh, we see a lot of regulations are coming in, but the technology isn't ready to, to, to help the ship owner to actually execute on this. And, this, and we can look at this as a, the ballast water, for example. The U.S. has enforced it, but the technology isn't really available to support the ship owner. And now this is where we're at right now. What, what is, why you're trying to, 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 to make a law of something and it's not really feasible to sustain it in that way without the right piece of uh, technology. Well, I, I, think, I think the answer would be more of uh, aligning all these three parameters, aligning from the, the regulatory bodies, aligning the ship owners and the, the vendors and suppliers. If they sit down and say, okay, uh, we are facing these challenges in the future. The regulatory body says, well, this is what we plan to uh, imp implement or have in force at a certain point in time. Then the vendor can actually say, okay, I know uh, what kind of technology is, is, can help the ship owner to be compliant with whatever they're enforcing. I think this will be the best way forward. Having a sit down around the table and actually discuss what is this going to be in force and how technology is going to help them.